Hello viewers, welcome to IT System Admin and Information Technology Learning Tutorial channel for you. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to fix status access violation error in Google Chrome. Sometimes it becomes very important for you, so don't forget to watch full video. To fix status access violation error, on Google Chrome, go to your Chrome browser and I'm going to browse a site and look, something went wrong, status access violation. Now I'm going to fix this issue, click on three dot icon on upper right corner and open a new incognito window. In search by Chrome, clone double forward slash restart and a restart may fix this issue. Click on Chrome restart. If your issue is still continuing, you need to delete browsing history. Click on three dot icon and then click on delete browsing data in time range select all time and select browsing history cookies and other site data and cached image and files and then click on delete data and this will delete all your browsing data this may fix your issue in left pen click on about chrome and this will automatically update google chrome and now close Google Chrome browser, right click, right click on your Google Chrome icon and click on open file location and right click on the Chrome and then click on rename and here in rename you can add any character here, I am adding one. Now close file explorer. If the problem is still continuing, you can check the memory diagnostic tool in search type memory click on windows memory diagnostic and click on restart now and check for problems recommended and this will restart your computer and hope this will solve your issue if the issue is still continuing you just need to reset your google chrome click on three dot icon and click on settings and in left pen scroll down click on reset settings and restore settings to their original default click on it and then click on reset settings after finish all these fix hope the problem will be solved and this is all for today hope this tutorial is helpful for you keep watching for next tutorial thank you very much